Paleohistology is the study of fossil bone microstructure. And in order to take a look at this microstructure, you start with a fossil bone, say the leg bone of a dinosaur, and you take a slice out of the bone, and then you polish that bone really thin, um, about 100 microns in thickness, and then you're able to put that under the microscope and uh, light can pass through it and you can take a look at those structures. What you see when you take a look through the microscope are um, uh, holes where blood vessels used to be, pits where the bone secreting cells used to live, and, and also uh, bone fiber orientation. Um, so all of this detail is preserved just like the fossil bone is preserved uh, with all its detail these minute details are also preserved and we can learn a lot about the extinct animal just by looking at these types of structures. So we can infer uh, metabolic rate, um, growth rate of the animal uh, from year to year, how old it was when it died, um, was it uh, a mature adult when it died, was it a juvenile, and sometimes even if it were male or female. We are able to infer all of this about uh, an animal uh, that's extinct because we take a look at the bone microstructure of modern animals for comparison. And we see similarities with modern animals. We know how they live, how old they are, um, if they're warm-blooded or cold-blooded, and we can take those types of features we see in the bones and then look for those structures in an extinct animal's bones. When we do this, we're, we're learning more about our past as far as vertebrates are concerned. Um, for example, when did warm-bloodedness uh, appear in the fossil record? By asking these questions, we're also learning more about modern animals and their uh, biology of bone. And because of this, we've learned so much more about animals that, that we wouldn't have asked these questions. And we are surprised to find out that so much information can be recorded about an animal's physiology within their bone. By doing this research on paleohistology, I not only want to learn more about the past and how these animals, particularly dinosaurs, live, but also how their descendants, birds, and other vertebrates are living today.